Hey, Orchard family, I wanted to read you one of our favorite African-inspired stories and give you a close-up because this book has so many really beautiful illustrations. It's called Kofi and His Magic, and it's written by Maya Angelou, who's actually a famous poet um, that's passed away, but she is really wise and full of inspiration, and I really love her. And I love the photographs in this book. Hi, my name is Kofi, and I'm a magician. No, wait now. My name is Kofi, and I live in West Africa, the most beautiful place in the whole world, and I am seven years old. And I am a magician. I live near the Ashanti Golden Stool, which everyone knows is pure magic. The stool is made of gold, and only the Ashanti king can sit on it. When he does, he becomes so powerful that everyone must obey his commands. That's magic. You may think I'm kidding when I say I'm a magician, but when I finish my story, you will believe me. Okay, first, I, as I am, as I said, Kofi, which means I am a boy born on Friday, and I am a weaver. I weave kente cloth, the most beautiful and richest cloth in the world. You may think I'm not old enough to be a weaver. But I began learning years ago when I was young. I joined a class of boys learning to weave. The teacher tied threads to our toes, and then we would move our feet like a, a little like riding a bicycle, just a little. It was hard, but we had fun wiggling our toes. I could make the threads behave. That's not why I'm a magician. And this is kenti cloth. It's the really bright color pattern fabric that some Africans wear. My town is called Bonwire. It's the most famous town in all the world for kente weaving. I don't tell everyone, but I can do magic thing and make what I want to come true, come true. For example, I know Bonwire is the best town in the world, but sometimes I want to go other places, like the north, where people live in houses different from ours and wear different clothes and speak in different speak differently and eat different foods. And this would be a market where they go to buy foods and different items that are made. I also like to hear the names of their towns, Tamale and Sunyani and Bogatanga. So I sit down, close my eyes, open my mind, and I am on a bus waving goodbye to my friends in Bonwire. Then, suddenly I am in the north. Up here, no one weaves kente, but they make other cloth. The boys wear hats made with horn and cowrie shells, or those little white shells. If I wore a hat like that, I would feel very brave. When I first see the northern women painting their houses, I laugh because Ashanti women don't do that. But then I see how beautiful the houses are when they're finished. And I think, if I would love to live in a magical painted house. The northern people like me. They give me a smock like a big shirt to wear. And they let me stand with their wise old men. When I am ready to go home, I sit down close my eyes and open my mind. And I am back in Bonwire going to school. We carry desks to write on and stools to sit on because most of the time classes are outside. During the rainy season, we go inside a building to study. Sometimes I get bored and have to use my magic. I sit down, close my eyes, and open my mind. And I'm at a festival called Durbar. Every year at harvest time, people celebrate powerful chiefs, some of whom are women priests and wise men put on their richest kente and gold, and they are carried through the streets on palanquins under beautiful umbrellas. So a palanquin would be like this. Dancers and drummers fill the roads with singers singing, children shouting, and the thump, thump, thump of the drums. The noise is wonderful. There is delicious food to eat everywhere. I love the Durbar, but I do get tired, so I sit down, 
close my eyes and open my mind. And I am back home in Bonware with my friend Kojo, who doesn't laugh very much. I decide to share my magic with Kojo. I tell him we should go to the sea, and I say, sit down, close your eyes, and open your mind. And I have to repeat myself many times, but at last we both sit down, close our eyes, and open our mind. And then we are at a lake so wide and blue that we become afraid, but someone tells us that we are, what we are looking at is not a lake, but the Atlantic Ocean. It has a wonderful smell and a wonderful roar like a soft roll of thunder in the raining season and the water tastes salty. After a while, Kojo wants to go home. Sit down, close our eyes, open our minds, and we are back in Bonwire. I told you at first that I was a magician. Well, I have been thinking in my language, Ashanti, and you have been hearing me in English. So I think you are a magician too. If you ever want to meet me, just sit down, close your eyes, open your mind, and think about a friend you have in West Africa named Kofi. <laughs>